Okay, where do I begin with this one? Now, I'm going to say this here. I am surprised she got some clap back from other women. That I am surprised about. But I cannot play the song because of copyright. It's Sierra singing one of her songs. Or maybe a new song. I don't know exactly because I'm not a huge Sierra fan. I don't listen to her music. But I was sent this and I paid attention to the uh, actual song. And she's talking, telling other women, don't worry about these men. Get your money. You, you don't need no man. Blah, blah, blah. You know, all that nonsense. Women telling other women that it's cool to be single. But... What I was surprised about, and I'm going to show y'all in a minute. I'm going to show y'all some of the, co the comments. I'm surprised that women actually clap back on them. Because we all know she's a, she was, she's not anymore, was a single mother. Uh, her dating life was horrible, as a lot of women dating life is. And, and I didn't say all, I said a lot of women. So, because I know y'all women love to hear that word a lot. And y'all take that as... Not all, not all. Anyway, it's a shame I have to say that. But anyway, so her dating life wasn't all that. We all know she bounced around a little bit before she got with Russell Wilson. And I'm not going to get into that because, you know, that's a whole nother video in itself. Now, this woman actually admitted to sitting here crying praying to God that she finds a man to help her take care of these kids. And she got Russell Wilson. So God answered her prayer. That's why we now know this such thing called the Sierra prayer. Because Sierra actually really prayed and she admitted to it. Yeah, she was on the RuPaul TV show. Not the not the other show that RuPaul does, but the actual talk show that RuPaul have or used to have or whatever, and she admitted to it. I, if I can find that video, I'll play that video later on. But, if I can find it. But, so, you're going to sit here and tell other women to be happy that they're single and you don't need no man, get your money, take your trips, all of that good stuff, blah, blah, blah. But your ass was sitting here begging for a man. You prayed to God that you find a man. Y'all see the hypocrite, the hypocrisy, I should say. There's a better word to use right here. The hypocrisy that these women are. Oh, she wasn't happy being single. She admitted to crying and praying and begging God to give her a good man. Now, I don't know if Russell Wilson is a good man. Haven't heard nothing crazy about him. So, but other than he's a weak human being, he needs to stand up for himself. But that's that's neither here or there. But you see the hypocrisy in this. Do, do y'all see this? Now, let me go ahead and get to some of the comments real quick, so y'all can see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, see, this is what I was talking about. Mama T, she had a couple of comments here. This is for the girls that don't need no man while standing in your man's house living in luxury with his money. It's crazy. Thank you. She's with Russell Wilson. Sierra is, with, is married to Russell Wilson. Yeah. Sierra is married to Russell Wilson. After being with a lot of these no good men, she got with Russell Wilson. And let's not let's not act like Russell Wilson is successful because of her, because he was doing good before he got with Sierra. So let's not go down that road. We all know that. By no means is she broken her own, but please let's stop the cap. These women be selling y'all wolf tickets and then going home to their husbands. Preach on, Mama T. Just like Beyonce. I had the single ladies. I had the single ladies. But she, but Beyonce was going home to, to Jay-Z. I don't know if they were married at the time that uh, song came out. But I know they was in a relationship. I know that much. But, but be that as it may. 
See, see, you see what I'm saying? She, these women will tell y'all it's okay to be a single mom just because they are. They made a fucked up decision in their life, so they want other women to do it to follow suit, and y'all are doing it. You see that? But then y'all will get mad at us guys for speaking the facts about this. Well, get mad at Mama T for telling y'all the same shit that we telling y'all. Go get mad at Mama T. Excuse me now. Ah, excuse me. But go get mad at Mama T. She said the same thing that we be saying. See, all these women are talking all this shit because they made fucked up decisions in their life so they want you to do the same thing. See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? I've t I said this before, and I'm going to say it again. I think the female mind is so easily influenced for negative stuff, that is. Not in too much things are positive. But I think the female mind is so negatively, so easily negatively influenced. There we go. I said that all wrong. <laughs> but because... If y'all think that it's okay to go around in life thinking it's single, it's okay to be single. Yeah, I'm getting tongue tied. Something is wrong here. There is no way, no way that a man or a woman wants to be single in life. I don't care what you say. Because women love to say, I don't need no man. I don't need no man. But as soon as a good man come around, that talk is gone. But I thought you said you didn't need no man. Hmm. Okay. But you just said earlier you didn't need no man. That's what you just told me. What 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 happened? Then also too, um uh 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 to be a single mother. Oh my god. To 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 go and have sex all over the place with multiple men. Oh my god. But it's okay. It's okay for other women to preach this negative shit to you, but you'll get mad if a man talks about it. And but Mama T has a point. This is for the single ladies, but you're going home to your husband. Hmm. These women are trying to at least get half the man that you have. Devoted to them and all that stuff. See, y'all won't y'all won't talk y'all women won't talk about what it's like to have to be in good relationships. What you need to do to get there. Y'all won't talk about stuff like that. Y'all rather preach negative shit just to fatten your pockets. Yeah, see, y'all y'all are okay with women spewing negativity to y'all. But none of these women are talking about what they had to do to get the men that they have, like a Beyonce, like a Sierra. Whether it's in a good relationship or not, they still going home to their man. Yeah. See, why don't y'all women talk about stuff like that? What you have to do to get a good man. See, at least Sierra, I give her that. She knew to humble herself. I, I give her that much. Because she knew the situation she was in and she knew what she's going to have to do from now on to be happy in a marriage. She's going to have to get rid of all of that, that, that checklist that she used to have that she want a man to have. She had to get rid of all of that and understand, uh, I can't demand all this stuff no more. So I give her that much. And what's up with these moon boots? I, as y'all know, I love wrestling. I seen Seth Rollins had these boots on a couple of weeks ago. What, what, what's up with these moon boots? Where y'all get these? Boy, y'all, oh boy, boy, boy. All people got to do is just tell you it costs a lot of money and y'all will buy it. <laughs> I'm going to sell y'all a bottle of water and say it costs $1,000 for a bottle of water. I bet you I'll become a millionaire for that. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah. But all I'm saying, though, is think about that for a second. It's easy to manipulate the female mind in a negative way. It is. I'm sorry. You can't. 
You can't tell me I'm wrong on this. I'm sorry. You cannot tell me I am wrong. Too many examples. I've been through it myself, my personal life. I share some of the stuff with y'all, and I've seen it. We all see it all the time, every day. We see it. Amber Rose could tell y'all women, let's do the slut walk, and y'all doing it. <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B is up here teaching y'all how to have sex with so many men. But uh, guess what? Megan Thee Stallion was embarrassed during that court, court proceeding. I did a video on that before, too. She is embarrassed to do all that because <laughs> she didn't want nobody to know. I mean, it's her personal business, but uh, I was always taught if you're embarrassed to do it, you shouldn't be doing it. Hmm? I'm just saying. But, yeah. She's telling y'all single ladies, it's okay. Go and take your trips. You don't need to be stuck inside. You can go and do this and go do that. And this is another thing. I even told my wife this. These women want to make sure that y'all are not competition to them. That's why they're doing this. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong on that one. These women don't want you to be no competition to them. That's why they're doing this shit to y'all. And y'all are sitting here going for it. Make it make sense.